Hello and welcome back. I'm Harish and in this channel I talk about various ways in which you can build pretty much anything from a web app to a mobile app without writing a single line of code. And this video is a quick example of using an API called Board API and building a thunkable app for it. Board API is essentially a simple API that <laughs> helps you find things to do when you're bored. Right? Let's quickly check the documentation and see what the API has. The API has a call that gives you different activities you can call the random event where it will give you a random event and give you different types of events the types are listed in the same page i'll give you the links to this api in the description below so that you can check it out there are different types of activities and depending on the activity you choose it will give you the random activity right so what we are going to do in this app as an example is it's a really fun api shout out to whoever built this api there is an API call called type is equal to recreational. So what we're going to do is let's show a list and then when the user clicks on any of the different types available in the list, we'll pull uh, an activity and show it to the user. Let's quickly go, go to Thunkable and create the app for it. Right, so I'm going to create a new app and call it board API demo. click create and once you have the canvas the first step is to show a list of all the types right so the types are here I'm going to pick two or three for this demo but I would highly recommend you add all of them if you can so in the canvas the first thing that we need is a group I'll tell you why we need a group so there are about eight different types right nine nine types and uh, showing all the nine types and adding a different screen to show the activity that we get from the api can be cumbersome sometimes so what we want to do is add a scrollable list and then when, some, when the user clicks on any of the type we'll show our response right in the same screen instead of adding multiple screens right so what i want to do is add a group and expand it on the first part of the app and then add a list inside this group right add a list viewer inside the group i'm going to make it the same size as a group and this will become scrollable right so you don't have to worry about the list being longer and your actual fields being hidden and from the response itself if you look at the response there is activity accessibility participants price right key is a unique id for each activity so we're not going to use that we are only going to use these four so to show the four i'm going to add four labels and quickly name them appropriately and then we'll get into building the logic of the app oh sorry we just need two more labels so we have activity then we have accessibility price and participants right so let me quickly change the labels and uh, change the names so that we can use it in the blocks right along with this what i'm also going to add is a loading icon so that Visual loading before we fetch the data from the API. Right, so let me just quickly change the labels. Right, so let's quickly build the logic. The logic is very simple. Uh, we need a web API, go to advanced on the left, click on plus against web API, and then I'm going to leave everything blank and click submit and then now when the screen loads the first step to do is add the activities into the list so what we're going to do is click on screen one and when the screen opens and click list view and text items two and then on the left select lists and say first one right we're going to delete these because we don't need numbers we need text right i'm going to grab a blank one for now and then duplicate this add about let's say six so that we can also screen the scroll behavior in the group that we added i'm going to duplicate this couple more times and now let's see what are the activities here education recreational social okay let's pick uh, five of them let's do social diy charity cooking Right, we will set a list 
and uh, list viewer should now be visible let's quickly preview and see if the list is visible yes now there is an arrow icon we don't need the arrow icon can be deceiving because the user might expect a different screen when they click on uh, the list item so i'm going to hide the arrow from here go back to blocks now let's build the logic now when somebody clicks on any of the item in the list viewer we should call the api so click on list viewer and say on item click now click on web api and say set the web api url to as a first step and also go to this and say get because this is a simple get method according to the documentation right and the api that we are going to call is this this is the sample url and we need to re replace this with the list item that the user has clicked right so go back to thunkable and now in the text block drag and drop the join block here and the first piece is the url and the second piece has to be what the user has clicked which is item in the same block right now after the get call is done we need to replace the labels right so i'm going to select each of the label here and copy the set participants text to and before all of this let's show the loading icon so i'm going to do loading icon as a first step and visible to go back to logic on the left and to true all right now the loading icon should be visible when the item is clicked and at the end of this we'll do visibility is false right now we need four of these so i'm going to duplicate this really quickly and add these so here we are going to do accessibility activity activities should be the first one so i'm going to do activity accessibility participants and price as the four items right now if you look at the api response there is no label beside this right so let's make sure we show that this specific item is activating right or you can uh, add these as different labels also in the view what i'm going to do here is now the text has to be uh, retrieved from the api response right now if you know i love apis and love working with apis in any no code tool the response in the api is called an object so go to objects and get get property of object put it there and then also go back to objects and say get object from json and drag and drop the response object to this one and change the property name to what is the property that we need right we need four properties in this example along with this what i'm going to do is go to text and say join as part of this and say activity as that and the second piece will be this i'm going to just duplicate this and paste it to four of these and when you see the demo you will understand why i added an additional join piece here so i'm going to change this to accessibility participants and price make sure you change the values appropriately otherwise you will show activity everywhere right and the spelling has to be right otherwise it won't work so uh, this is participants and then the last one is price now that's it everything is said that's why you call this api and build an app on top of it really fun api this is a great way also to learn how you can play around with different types of apis and two different uh, layouts as well let's quickly check the preview and see if this works now when i go to preview the list is loading let's add one more item to see if the scroll will be visible now we need one more activity let's do busy work as an additional activity click on the gear icon here and drag and drop the item so that you have additional item available to you so this one will become busy work i'm only adding what is available in the api otherwise the api won't work and you have to also handle all those cases here if the status is equal to 200 then only set all of these for the sake of this example and keeping this video really crisp and short i'm not doing all of them but that's probably for you to figure out how to do it's actually very easy so let's see the preview as you can see the scroll appears and you can scroll through this only and it doesn't expand to the whole screen and the rest of the canvas is available for us to do whatever we want now click on cooking and yes the api obviously did not work let's see what happened now let's go back to editing and see what is the problem right okay so these should be text values i did not add a text block as such so changing this to 
make sure you add a text block and don't just blindly change the text that is available in the default block otherwise this is what will happen so I will change to the last two quickly participants and then the last one is price right now this should work let's go to preview so cooking doesn't work great clearly why it didn't work because we have to remove this and append the value here right so the api url will be this make sure the type equal to and there is nothing beyond that now what is happening is the type is becoming recreational plus whatever i'm selecting in the demo it's good to see demos fail so that it doesn't look like i'm sitting and editing and removing the bad parts of the video so you can see that this is how you test and see what is working and what is not and why is it not working let's go back and see the web preview now and hopefully this should work now great so you can see it works now the activity is obviously not visible because the size of the label is not enough so what we're going to do here is just try and drop this because the activity is long enough and then we'll also do changes to these you can change this make it better looking but for the sake of this demo bear with me and my design sense for the sake of this demo only now when i do the preview now let's say diy that's it make tie-dye shirts accessibility is 0 0.2 which means that this activity doesn't need uh, much of effort trying to find things to do price is that it's cheap and number of participants who are doing this as of now is one so that's how you build a wrapper app on top of a really fun api which is board api all the links for the project and everything that i've used are in the description below if you learned something new from this consider subscribing to the channel and also drop a like to this video and uh, see you in the next one peace